Canva makes professional design simple for everyone. Whether it's social media images, videos, GIFs, posters, or full presentations, Canvas tools help bring your vision to life, even if you're just starting out. In this quick guide, we'll cover everything you need to know to design from scratch in Canva. So if you're ready to turn your creative ideas into polished designs in minutes, keep on watching. Let's jump in by starting a new project. Once you're on the Canva homepage, you'll see tons of templates organized by categories. Choose the one that fits your needs. Let's go with an Instagram post for this example. Select a template to get started quickly or start with a blank canvas if you want full control. Now, naming your files is key. Simply click on the title at the top to rename your project. This helps you stay organized, especially as your designs multiply. Canva also has folders to keep everything in order. Save your designs to specific folders for easy access later. All right, let's set the vibe with a background color. Canva gives you a color palette on the left sidebar. Select a color that aligns with the theme of your design. For this example, let's go with a soft pastel blue for a calm and inviting look. Now let's add some design elements. Head over to the Elements tab in the left sidebar. You'll find icons, shapes, photos, and more. Let's search for Coffee Cup to add a fun graphic to our post. Just click on any element to add it to your canvas, and remember, give your elements some breathing space. This will prevent your design from looking too crowded and help everything stand out. Text is where you'll really get your message across, so it's crucial to make it readable. Head over to the text tab and select add a heading. I'll type in something like good morning in a large, bold font. Let's talk about font choice and color. Keep it simple. Here, I'm choosing a clean sans serif font in white, which contrasts nicely with the blue background. Keep your color scheme simple and cohesive. Choose font colors that are easy to read against your background. Canva has plenty of font styles, but for readability, stick with clean, modern fonts that match your design's tone. Adjust the text size and spacing so everything looks balanced and easy to read. Now that we have our text and elements, let's make sure everything is visually balanced. Canvas grid lines are really useful here. They'll help you align items effortlessly. Drag your elements around, and the grid lines will automatically pop up, helping you align things perfectly. We can also add a border around the coffee cup to make it pop, or a subtle shadow under the text for emphasis. Adding these small touches helps direct attention and gives your design a professional feel without cluttering it up. Try not to go overboard, though. Sticking to a consistent color palette and font style will keep things looking polished. Let's wrap up with some finishing touches. Since we're designing an Instagram post, let's double check the sizing by clicking on resize in the top left. Instagram posts are typically 1080 by 1080 pixels, which Canva's default template already has, but it's always good to check. To add your Instagram handle or any branding, go to text again and add a small footer at the bottom with your handle, like at my handle. Make sure it's small but readable so it doesn't distract from the main design. Once you're happy with your final design, head over to the top right corner, click share and choose download. For Instagram, PNG is a great option for high quality visuals. And that's it, you're ready to post. And there you have it, Canva mastery in just five minutes. Remember these key tips, keep your text readable, use cohesive colors, align elements for balance, and always keep your designs organized. With these essentials, you can create stunning designs that stand out. We hope this video gives you a good idea of the possibilities and helps you make the right choice for your needs. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.